Hi, Dr. Carter here. We're on the outskirts of Hurricane Utah. Um, just had to kind of record this again. It's really home up here, right? This is kind of an utterly amazing valley, and I'm trying to figure out how to even possibly capture it. My wife's taking a bunch of wonderful pictures, but uh, we have these mountains off to our uh, west or south northwest. I think we're going to drive around them in the end. Then the beautiful thing I'm looking at here is you have these beautiful red sedimentary rocks. You have the uh, white cliffs um, at the top there. That's probably Zion we're looking at up there. I think they call those the temples of uh, Zion. Again, the sun angle's not the best out here just because it's the morning and we're trying to look at some stuff that's not the best to look. It's backlit, but going back here, Look at some of those red sandstones, and you look a little further to the left of the red sandstones. Everything sort of cuts out, and you have something different up there. I think that is part of the hurricane fault system. I'm gonna have to check a map when I get home, but um, yeah, you have some upwarping there. The hurricane fault system is a series of normal faults um, that basically separate the Colorado Plateau, which we've been driving across for uh, the last two days from the uh, Basin and Range province. Um, and uh, well, the Colorado Plateau moves pretty much as one cohesive block. The Basin Range is slowly stretching and spreading and uh, there's lots of little faults taking off little bits of that offset. Now, we've been on the Grand Staircase. I just want to point out we're still seeing Grand Staircase rocks. We're seeing uh, now we're seeing much younger stuff here. All these rocks in Zion, these beautiful white peaks. That's not snow, that is white rock. Those are other cliffs. And indeed, the classic Grand Staircase is, starts out at the Grand Canyon, goes up to North Rim, goes to, along the surface of the Kaibab, maybe goes up the Vermilion Cliffs, maybe heads out here, goes up the uh, cliffs of Zion, then gets you into Bryce Canyon, gets you to the Gray Cliffs, and finally, Brian Head. Now, Brian Head, where is Brian Head? Um, I'm not perfectly well oriented, but um, Brian Head is a basalt lava flow that sometimes creates these sort of very tall, you find on some of the tallest round looking peaks. I think that might be one of the peaks that has some of those long basalt lava flows. Those are actually something, again, we've seen a lot of lava igneous features out here in the Colorado Plateau. And especially when you're near areas where there's uh, more direct pathway to hot rocks below, such as a fault system. And up through there, you can see definitely a number of the sequences of the uh, Grand Staircase uh, sedimentary rocks. I'm just going to take one last picture looking down here so we can document what I've seen, and then, yeah, all today.